Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and more. I hope y'all are having a great day. Um, thank you for those of you who are new here. I hope you enjoy this type of content and decide to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification. And of course, thank you to all my other YouTube family that joins me each and every time that I upload and comments on my video. I appreciate you all more than you know. Um, so I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today and I'll do it into two part like I did last week. I'll do a Dollar Tree haul in this video then I'll do another video and I'll put them two together. So after I'm done this one, stay tuned because there'll be another video at the end. So I went into Dollar Tree because I needed to get two food items and then I also needed to get a couple of uh, winning items for Sweet Kiki over at Kathleen Murkovich Robinson. That's her channel name here on YouTube. Um, she had won my uh, Five Truths and Five Myths video. If you've not seen that, go check that out. That's uh, some interesting facts about me, especially if you're new here because you get to learn a little bit more about me. So um, I went in there to get some Olive Garden, uh, these little cups. This is the signature Italian dressing from Olive Garden. You can see it there. And um, our store had it for a long time and then they kind of, it went out. You didn't see it for a while and now it's back again. So I'm kind of trying to stay stocked up on it, but you really don't stay that stocked because there's only three cups and you go through it as quick as you're kind of purchasing it. I did purchase the full bottle and my husband took that one to work. <laughs> so he has that one, but my daughter loves this too. So I made sure to get this for her. And uh, this is what the little cups look like. Just the single serving cups, which is perfect when you're making a, you know, a house salad here at the house. Um, and then I also wanted to get, look in their freezer section and get some of the mixed vegetables. Um, I got three bags of these, but I just pulled one out of the freezer for now to show you guys. I got three bags of those because I am going to make, um, homemade chicken pot pie this week. And I'm super excited. Um, and maybe I'll do a video on it. Maybe I'll do a video. Let's see. Cause I do, I do like to, when I do my meals of the week at the end of the, that, uh, showing you guys those meals of the week, I do like to incorporate either a cooking or baking video. Um, so maybe I will add that to the end of the meals of the week video. Um, and then I also, I have picked up this Yardley brand, uh, English lavender with lavender essential oil. It's moisturizing hand soap and look at the beautiful packaging. It's got the lavender there. I got two of these um, because for $1.25, that's a great price. It's alcohol free, paraben free. Um, it says P, PEG free and SLS free. Um, so, and it smells so good guys. I have one in my kitchen. I'm gonna put one in our bathrooms. Um, and I just like to stay stocked up on hand soap and I had had a lot of hand soap and it lasted me several months. And then all of a sudden we went to get a refill one day to refill our containers and it's all gone. And I was like, oh my gosh, how did I let myself run out? Because I was so stocked up. So now I'm starting to stock back up again. As well as I did send one of these out in friend mail because I know a sweet friend of mine who uh, wanted one of these and could not find them in her local area. So I did send her one and it was so funny because I felt so bad because at the post office, um, the lady behind the counter that was working, she said, what, what do you have in here? And I thought maybe it was actually my perfume because I had forgot to put that in there for her um, because I was mailing her some other goodies for a uh, Galentine's day. And, uh, I thought it was my perfume because my perfume is, is kind of strong. And I said, Oh, is it my perfume? And she said, no, it's something in here. And I said, oh, I did I did mail something lavender. And she said, oh my, my allergies are so bad. And I said, I'm so sorry. I'll have to remember that the next time I come in, you know, um, to either try to get the guy to wait on me or, um, you know, I don't know. I'm sure I probably won't be mailing something like this again anytime soon, but you know, I did want to get it out to her. So, um, I know she was trying to find that Angela <laughs> um, so yeah that was that was something so anyways um, let me show you I found a lot of great crafty items so I know by the time this video comes out Kiki will already have her a winning so I'm go ahead and show you guys I got her this home sweet home coloring book um, 
and this is by the designer series and it says it's $3.95 in the U.S. and $4.95 in Canada. Of course, you know, um, I, of course, I found it for a great price. It's a Dollar Tree. Um, but it just has beautiful, beautiful pages in it. And I think Kiki is a lot like me that whenever she does her adult coloring that she really prefers a uh, larger type print. And I know I do. I've heard Miss Brenda say it over at Maniac Grammy's Homestead. Um, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I just thought this was a really beautiful coloring book. So I picked up that for her for winnings as well as these stickers, this 58 piece set. She does uh, a lot of journaling um, and things like that. Um, like a lot of us do, um, but I thought that she would enjoy that, those. So I got her that. Um, and then I was excited because if you got seen in one of my previous Dollar Tree hauls, I found these, these little yarn pom-poms for crafting. And um, there was only one that day. I went back and they had a bunch this day. I probably should have picked up more, but y'all know how that goes. You, you're in a rush and you're going through and you just don't. But this is a 12-piece set, so I did get another one of those. And then I also got it in this color. And then... And then I also picked these up because I'm not sure if she was able to get these. So I got these craft wood 3D bugs, the little ladybugs, because I thought she might enjoy having those. And I did have some other items here for her as well, and I made her something too. So, but um, you can go over and check out her. I'm sure she'll do a winnings video, so you can go over and check out her video, and she can share with you everything that I put in there for her. And then I found this. This is actually a two set, a two count pom-pom maker. So I am quite excited to see what this does. They had these, one in the pink and one in the blue, the kind of small and the medium. And then they had a package where it was just one by itself in a yellow, um, in a yellow color, but it was a large one. Um, so I'm kind of excited to try this and see how it works out. I feel like I've saw, I feel like I've seen someone else do a video on these where they made these and I'm not sure if they did it freehand or if they had a pom-pom maker. I can't remember. It feels like it's been a while back. Um, and then I found these little beautiful gingham with bows, these little felt bunnies. This is a six piece set in the pink. I just love this pink. It's so pretty. Um, that's what the back looks like in the felt and then the gingham in the front with the little bow. And these are gonna be really pretty for crafting for spring. Y'all heard me say enough times how excited I am for spring. You're probably tired of hearing it, but I know y'all are too, so I know y'all are ready for it too. And then I found it in the, like the lavender, which is so pretty. It's a really pretty color too. And then I found this eight count of felt stickers and look at these cute little bunnies and they've got them in the lavender and the pink and then that um, like Tiffany blue color and these are literally all my favorite colors here in one package so that's kind of neat um, but these will be fun for card making and ATC making and Memdex card making um, and crafting so and if you've not checked out um, I'm in a um, group collab with uh, Tony over at Creative Chica Halls where on Thursdays and also Cat Cast and Cali, um, and we do a ATC MDC collab, and we create different um, items making ATC and MDC cards. Um, and there's a lot of us in the collab, and it is an open collab. The hosts are just Tony, myself, and Cat. Um, but it is an open collab. Anyone is welcome to join it. Um, as well as uh, Fun Card Friday, where Tony over at Creative Chica Halls and Crafts, as well as uh, Kelly over at KS Designs, um, do uh, Fun Card Friday and create cards. And that, you know, those are the two hosts, but that is also an open collab where anyone is welcome to join and create fun cards. Um, and a lot of us right now are making Valentine cards, but we're also starting to get out to make um, spring cards. So you have to go over and check out um, all the different videos and you'll see the hashtags where you can click on the links and go to all the different uh, ladies and gentlemen that are in those collabs. So with that being said, this is the haul for now. It's actually 10 minutes. So 
I may end this haul here and then just do a separate haul, uh, as well as Lois over at Life with Lois. Uh, she, on Fridays, is now doing hashtag Friday hauls. Um, so I've been trying to remember to do my hauls on Friday, and then if I have any extras, you know, I'll do them on the weekends. Um, but that is, uh, she's the host of that collab, and uh, that is an open collab as well. You can go over and check her out. I'll try to remember to link everyone down below who I just mentioned. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe, be blessed, and until next time, bye y'all.